Sometimes are usually wrong. Uh, sometimes you're right. Sometimes you're wrong. I would say most of the time, if you try to judge a person's character just based on your first impression, it's it's always wrong. And I have a real life example I want to share because I was actually at work. Um, I work security, so it's different security officers. And depending on the site, you might have to work with another security officer. The, the site that I work on, you have to work with one other security officer. So what happens is if the person you usually work with is not available to work, you'll be on your site with a utility officer. You know, so there's one particular utility officer that I work with or that I worked with this weekend. And people have a negative opinion about this guy. And I had a negative opinion about him based on a few very short interactions where I felt his energy was a little not so positive. He would just make little comments. He would just say stuff that would rub me the wrong way. Uh, and then I would overhear like something he would say to somebody else. And then you combine that with things you hear from other people and you can formulate an opinion of a person before you even talk to them. So that's basically what happened with me, with me and this guy. We never worked together or actually we did, but we just never talked. So the only interactions I had to go off of is these very short. Spur the moment he say something in a moment uh, and I have this. I have this naturally sensitive trait where if somebody say something I don't like, I could take that shit a certain kind of way. Like, and I'm like, eh. You end up not liking people because they're saying or doing things that you wouldn't say or do or they're doing it in a tone that you are taking a certain type of way. But honestly, it was nothing really major. I think one time maybe uh, I had called about clocking in because we have this thing where we clock each other in sometimes just to make sure we, you know, hit the window. I think one time I may have called and he answered and said something that rub me the wrong way so yeah it's just be like little bullshit like that where you can form a first impression based on one thing that somebody said to you in a moment that you maybe didn't like um but yeah i ended up working with the guy and he's cool as fuck <laughs> like we sat down and once you get into a conversation with a person you start to see that you have things in common with them or you just start to see that there's an energy that they have that you could learn from. So that was the first thing that changed my opinion of him because he's an older guy, not super old, but he's older than me. Definitely a few decades older than me. Um, and he's been working with the company that I work for. For like two decades. So. Um, I like learning from people. I like learning from my elders, people who are older than me, I like picking their brain. So that was the first thing that switched my opinion of him is that once I got to talk to him, I realized, OK, he's a smart guy and he has experiences that I can learn from. Um, but he had gotten to a conversation with me about, you know, what he wants to do with his life because he's been working with the, the company, the security company I work for. He's been working with them for a long time. Uh, so just hearing him still be in the the mental state to want to do more, to want to learn. That inspired me. So I respect that about him because a lot of people get to a certain age and they don't have any motivation to do anything different. They don't want to learn anything new. Uh, so hearing his attitude and how he's still actively doing things and learning and going to school. Um, it made me look at my situation like, you know what? That's that's ins that's inspirational. I'm not planning on staying with this company forever, but it just put my mind in the mentality where I'm like, don't get too complacent. There's a lot of things you could do in this life. Um, they say, you know, if it's not broke, don't fix it. But it's always good to explore new ideas and new things, new ways to make money, new career paths, whatever it is. Um, 
So that was the first thing that made me like him. And then we started talking about life. We started talking about relationships, all type of shit. And then I related to him as a man. So I really want to drive that point. It's important for men not to make any unnecessary enemies with other men because it's a very powerful thing when two men can sit down and interact and find a commonality and actually, you know, be be a soundboard for each other. When you can bounce your ideas off of another man, that's great. So <clears throat> I have this trait that I'm still shaking. It creeps up every now and then. My interactions with other men have not always been solid because I've always had this soft, sensitive trait in me that makes it hard for me to deal with like a, a masculine energy. So a lot of times I'll be around a masculine energy and certain stuff they say or do will just make me turn my nose up. But really, it's the part of me that I haven't fully embraced. Um, so these days, I don't really want to be around everybody that I like. I want to get to know the people that I don't like or that I don't have the, the greatest first impression of. Because those will end up being some of the most important people you talk to. Man, we had a conversation about uh, girls that we talked to in the past. And he opened up to me about women that he's dated and how things worked out and didn't work out. Uh, I opened up to him about you know, my past relationship, my most recent relationship that caused me a lot of trauma. And then we we have different stories about the type of women we dated and, and what happened after we dated them. But there were similarities in how the women we pick. It totally affects your path as a man. And it really blew my mind to really dive into that topic because. It's like these. These one decisions you make in a moment this one decision you make to engage with a woman or take interest in a woman it takes you down a completely different path in your life as a man and as he was talking about his story he was saying man if i just would have maybe stayed focused on myself or if i just would have talked to this girl instead of that girl it really be that it's that's why you really have to be mindful and appreciate whatever moments are in front of you if you're a part of another person's life, you got to cherish that and be appreciative of that because they could have made any other decision that would have guided them somewhere else and they wouldn't have been around you. So you have to be appreciative of that. Um, and it's a special thing. That's why I can't really have any hate in my heart for anybody I've dealt with. Because there was a reason why that was the person I chose at that time in my life. I needed that person and they needed me. And if you're not looking at your life that way, then it's hard for you to really grow or learn anything from any of your experiences. You'll be carrying around weight and regrets and resent unnecessary emotions attached to you know your life experiences. Um. So, yeah, it was a very dope conversation of substance with a person that I thought that I wasn't going to like. I thought I didn't like him. But then I learned as I talked to him and we got into the conversation, the things that I didn't like about him is just parts of me that I haven't fully embraced. So challenge yourself. If you ever if you ever jump to a conclusion a quick conclusion that you don't like a person's energy or you don't like them or you just want to stay away from them. Really ask yourself, why? Why do I feel so strongly about not getting to know this particular person? And it's usually something about them that mirrors you. But it's the part of you you don't fully embrace because we all have everything in us. It's just certain parts we don't show certain parts we do show. That's what determines your personality type. But it don't mean that other side of you ain't in there because we all are the same. Ultimately, we all have to feel every range of emotion. Um, so, yeah, that's all I want to say, man. Stop judging people so quickly. Just stop. All it takes is a conversation to get to know somebody.
And I genuinely like to get to know people. So even if I have a negative opinion of a person or some type of preconceived judgment, if I ever have the opportunity to sit with those particular people that I may not feel all the way right about, I will give everybody a chance to talk. And that's something that I know. Every time I give a person a chance to talk, I end up liking them or just getting rid of that preconceived judgment. Now, if you deal with a person long term and then uh, you learn that they're not a good fit for you, then that's OK. Because at least you know a lot about this person. You have to know a person before you can judge them. So get to know people. That's something that a lot of humans don't do well. You, it's like people find every reason not to engage or not to spend time to understand or get to know a person. Um, so, yeah, that that quote about first impressions or everything is it's a lie. I don't believe in that quote. And I think that quote hinders us from being, you know, good people that take time to understand a person that we may not have the best feeling about up front. That's all I got for y'all. I don't want to talk in circles. My name's Yave. I'll be back later. Take that time. Get to know people.